Now I get asked a lot whether uh, the Elliott Wave Theory, Fibonacci, the Golden Ratio um, works and uh, if you had asked me that question back in the 1980s I would have said it did and in fact I still think it does um, but uh, just because something works doesn't mean you can make money out of it and um, uh, the 0.618 retracement is a great example of something that um, looks as if it works but it's only because your brain is very good at seeing when it works and not really what happens afterwards and so what I've done here, I've taken a, a really really good example of uh, using Fibonacci retracements and uh, just show you what happens and um, so let's start off with this low down here and uh, let's do a retracement 0 0.618 and I'm only really going to pick out the points that work, I'm not I'm going to ignore all the times it doesn't work. So we've taken this low, I'm then going to go to this high and the 0.618 retracement would take it to here. And you can see what happens is the market got to the 0.618 retracement, stopped exactly and the market goes shooting up. A good example of 0.618 working. Now um, I saw this one um, in a video and thought oh no because in fact I actually shorted the S&P um, exactly where the market topped out there there's a really good GAN reason for it if you watch um, the video that I've done on YouTube called so you think you're doing GAN angles you'll see at the end of the last frame of that video there's an angle in the future which is a, a minus four by one and it's exactly where it hits that angle and why I made the trade um, but if I would have known this, I would have seen this at the time, I wouldn't have made the trade. And um, if you take this high here, one of Gans rule, sorry, one of Elliott's rules is you take the distance down and you rise 1.618 of itself. So let's do 1.618 of from here to the low. And if we do that, you can see it works really well. And it gives us exactly that top there. And you're going to go and say, well, it works. Now you can see also what I'm doing is I'm cutting lines because it gets very complicated if you just keep the lines all, on, all over the place. Um, and at first sight, it looks like it works really well. And in fact, there was a massive fall um, on the last day of that fall. It fell 24 points on the S&P just because the way it's scaled now, it doesn't look like much. But uh, I was uh, I actually did short it and I was doing really well at that stage and thinking I was God gift to investments. Um, but what I found with um, Fibonacci retracements is they tend to work just long enough to get you in and then go up very quickly to catch you out and that's exactly what happens in this particular case the market fell for three or four days very very quickly encouraging people to short the market and in fact that day there in one day everything it had done in five days disappeared and then we have the big rise up through and above um, and that's my experience. It's usually a mugs play. It's usually a way of getting you into the market before it catches you out. Now, if you're only going to be in the trade for a day or two, then okay, it might work. But uh, um, I don't think that's a way of making money anyway. If we take this low here and we do 0 0.618, you can see that it fell 0.618. It didn't actually quite touch it, but... Uh, that's I think I've got the slightly wrong place but uh, it does retrace 0.618 so again I'm only picking the times it actually works so I could pick lots of other movements here where it doesn't work but uh, it does actually work at that stage there if you go from this high to the major high and do 0.618 it's down here somewhere um, so you can so they say you can also do the inverse of that which is um, 80 I can remember who it was which is uh, 382 which is the inverse of 0.618 and if we go to the major high sorry I wanted to do it from the major low well that's an example of it uh, of not working if we go to the major low here and go to the major high that's here again it looks as if it works especially if you can't see the future so if you can only see let's say that much information you can see that it's retraced the inverse of 0.618 uh, you probably get in a bit later because you want to see some strength um, which would then start pulling people in 
goes up for a few more days and then what you'll find is there'll be a massive reversal very quickly to catch out the people who bought on it and you can see that in what one maybe two days the market goes a lot lower and gets rid of all the rise that it made in about 10 days it got rid of in two days and that's what happens it encourages you win then you lose and then it goes up okay and like I said there's, uh, there's lots of other places that I could use so I could take this low here and go to this high and do um, 618 retracement and that might give us a signal so if we go to this high here uh, you can see that it doesn't quite get there so you don't know without the benefit of hindsight that it hasn't got there yet so in effect it's like you're looking at a chart that looks like that has it got there? no it goes up has it got there? well no yeah so you know it's uh, easy with hindsight doing this it's a little bit more difficult when you're not doing it with hindsight now again I could pick loads of other places so uh, we might take this low here and as it starts to rise we could take this high here and do a 0.618 retracement and it doesn't actually quite fall 0.618 but uh, it's close enough let's say that we did it we waited a day to see some strength and it goes up um, and again then there's a massive rise in the day so people would see that it's gone off 0.618 they'd probably get in too late and then the market comes down to catch them out you can do 1.618 on the way up so from here say to this high here well uh, yeah this high here gives you the top that it made here and so you would say it's a shorting opportunity but if you look at actually what happens and in fact I didn't actually the next angle um, that I talked about where I had one here the next one was actually here and uh, the reason I didn't make the trade was because it was 1.618 of that movement and you can see that the market goes down very very slowly encouraging people to short on the 1.618 and in one day it flies up catches everybody out and up it goes and then you could do say 1.618 between the low and that high and you can see that it slows down as it gets to 0.618 again encouraging people to think about shorting it and then goes up very very quickly to catch them, to catch them out and then I could go to the next high and do 1.618 which just doesn't work I could then go to the next high and the next high gives us the next one um, so basically what happens normally and I'm not saying it's the case all the time like here it did work very well down here um, they tend to work long enough going up very slowly to get you into the market and then they go flying the other way to catch you out and so um, does it work yes is it a way of making money no and again at the end of the day what's it all about it's all about trying to make money